Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a uh, a new kind of release that hasn't happened before. I'm um, going back to the NHL Moments event. We got the Easter Epic uh, release, which is highlighting a game from 1987 between the New York Islanders and the Washington Capitals, one of the longest games in NHL history. And we got 12 cards um, from players in that event. And that I like, I kind of like that. It, it is, you know, obviously from a past uh, hut event, but. I like the fact that they're kind of making it refreshing and not just keeping it so static by highlighting some big events that happened in the past. Um, so definitely a plus on the content, and it had some top-tier cards as well as some sets that you're going to need to pay attention to. So we'll break all that down. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for daily NHL content as well as MLB content. It's coming very shortly. All right, guys, let's get into the video. First things first, I want to go over the sets real quick because there is quite a few of them, uh, but they are uh, the double gold collectible pack as well well as the double icon collectible pack are now back you can do each of them twice so 75 gold players will get you two instead of 100 so you're saving 25 gold players uh, in value each time you do it i did four or well, i did it twice i got a total of four icon collectibles uh for 150 which was phenomenal so make sure you take advantage of that especially if you're looking to upgrade some of the icon collectibles that are coming out to the gold master ones um so definitely take advantage of that all right let's get into the new cards all right, we'll start out with the 89 Dwayne Sutter with two to Swarm and two to Howitzer, a 6-1 right-handed winger. Uh, not awful, uh, I, again, for the 89 range, but again, his acceleration is only going to get up to 89, speed to 91. His shot isn't terrible, but again, for any player that's looking for like under 90 cards, that would be an upgrade for your team. Two to Swarm and two to Howitzer is valuable, so I get We'll take a quick look at what he's going for on the market right now. Um, yeah, under 100K is kind of what I thought. That's not a bad value to try and get Swarm activated early on if you're still trying to build up your team. Following in, we've got the 90 overall Kelly Rudy, 5'11". You're really not going to be able to use him in net. He's going to get picked apart. Two to Heart and Soul, two to Spark. There's just far better synergy combos as well. Uh, so this would be a hard pass for me. Following him, we've got the 92 Brent Sutter with two to Spark and two to Workhorse. This is not a bad card at all. Um, again, the 90 faceoff makes him usable at center. Uh, you can get his acceleration up to 92 acceleration only to 89 but center doesn't need speed as much as uh, the wingers and defensemen do uh, and then again shot is in the low 90s hand stats same thing this is a usable card and again for anyone looking for a um, you know a lower tier 90 overall centerman this could this could be the card you're looking for and again we'll take a look at wow there's no way i'm paying that like not even close um, for that value so hard pass on that one but uh yeah wow after him we've got the 92 michael pavanka with two to distributor and two to shut down um and again 99 face off totally something that you want to grab and again 90 speed on a centerman isn't awful speed can get up to 91 and his shot is in the low 90s uh, hand stats are all great body checking as well this is a pretty well-rounded card and two to distributor isn't bad either with two to shut down so uh, not a bad card at all for the 92 michael pavanka after him we've got the 92 larry murphy and man larry murphy cards have been awesome the entire year like even his base team builder one to 86 overall was phenomenal two to spark two to howitzer that gets his acceleration to 94 speed to 94 as well his shot is in the mid 90s for slap shot which is what you want to look for for defensemen body checkings 90 hand stats mid 90s and he's 6 2 all around phenomenal card and a really good right-handed defenseman for you guys moving on to some bigger ones we got the 95 pat lafontaine with three to heart and soul and three to thief this is a unbelievable card at 510 97 speed with distributor 98 acceleration and 99 shooting hand stats everything essentially if you can get thief on him and heart and soul you can get his face offs to 91 um and again three to heart and soul if you have that mcdavid you're basically over halfway there as well again it's not something that i recommend you focus on but if you did get it you could play him at center if you don't get heart and soul he's still just an absolute lockdown winger with that speed and shot so uh definitely a good card to watch out for the 95 pat Fontaine. Following him is the 95 Mike Gardner, one of the best wingers in the entire game. So three to Spark, three to Magician, uh, max everything. This is exactly what you want in a right-handed winger. Low-key, this card is actually better than Guy Lafleur and one of the best right-handed wingers in the entire game for the rest of the game. Um, just an absolute monster. He's got decent synergy with three to Spark and someone that you definitely want to invest in. This is uh, this is the definition of an endgame card here in the 95 Mike Gardner. And then lastly, we've got the 96 Brian Trottier with three to distributor, three to workhorse. And again, same kind of situation. This is an endgame card. Speed's 94. Acceleration can get to 98. 
everything else is 99 including his faceoffs which means that no matter what comes out what centerman come out with 99 on the draw he can be at center for you for the rest of the game and three to workhorse and three to distributor is a phenomenal synergy combo to try and help you get out of that synergy prison that you're probably in at this point trying to get that fourth or maybe even fifth team based synergy um definitely a great card and and don't uh you know don't be worried about thinking about upgrading all right now let's talk about the sets that came out for this so um, you can do the Brian Trache upgrades and if you have the 91 un or the 91 silver and 10 gold or sorry 11 gold uh, collectibles you can upgrade to the 96 um, I think this is worth it in my opinion uh, you will get you know obviously the the 96 Brian Trache you know a as well as I believe the the gold one um, so just a, a really good card here and, and again an end game one that you wouldn't have to worry about Moving on, we've got the Pat Lafontaine. Same kind of situation. I think Pat Lafontaine, he's even cheaper um, at 10 instead of 11. Uh, unbelievable card. I think Pat Lafontaine is 100% a do if you have the silver one. And if you don't, he might be worth it, but the 95 Pat Lafontaine is one of the better cards. Uh, same with Mike Gartner. Same situation. If you have the 95 Mike Gartner, you can trade this in and get the uh, NHL moments one, uh, much like you could with the McDavid sets. So again, if you have untradeable Mike Gartner, you're not losing it here. You get this card back as well as the other one. So to help out with synergies, if you like the different synergy combo on Mike Gartner. Also, we've got the Mikey Michael Pavanka. If you, for whatever reason, have the 90 team builder Pavanka and, and you can get three gold collectibles, it's actually worth the upgrade in my opinion because the 90 is pretty tough um so you could do that upgrade and uh and get the 92 i think the 92 actually has some value so not a bad not a bad idea there and then the 92 larry murphy if you have the 90 team builder one again same kind of situation i think that 92 larry murphy in the nhl moments one that just came out is a phenomenal card and one that you can definitely get some value out of all right guys so that is going to do it for today's video let me know what you think in the comment section down below and don't forget to subscribe for daily nhl content i'll see you next time have a good one guys